Hi there. Have you ever wondered what those little hooks on the wings of aircraft are used for? Or why escalators have those nylon brushes that run all the way along the skirts? And what purpose do they serve? Well, today we're going to find out and take a look at nine everyday items with hidden features and secret uses. If you've ever been on an aeroplane and you're exceptionally eagle-eyed, you may have noticed two little black stickers of triangles on both walls at one point halfway up the cabin. These small triangles indicate the two seats or windows that have the very best view of a plane's wings for flight staff to check on them mid-flight, just to make sure they haven't fallen off or they're on fire or something. No, I'm joking, but it is to check that the wings are okay, and they're actually called the William Shatner seats, in reference to an episode of the Twilight Zone called Nightmare at 20,000 Feet. In it, Shatner's character sees a gremlin on the wing of the plane he's a passenger on. So just be aware, that if you sit below this black arrow in the Shatner seat, you will get a great view of the wing, but you may get disturbed a little more than the other passengers. If you've got a backpack or a rucksack lying around, it may be worth going off to grab it to check it as this next one is pretty useful, especially if you have children. Now, not many people know that modern backpacks and mostly children's backpacks have a hidden whistle in one of the buckles as shown. This can of course be used in dangerous situations to alert people to come to your aid. And from the looks of these pictures, it can easily go unnoticed, but it's worth knowing about and teaching others about it, as it could quite possibly come in very handy in a life or death situation. Have you ever been at a supermarket and picked up, say, an apple or an orange or a banana and wondered why they all have those little stickers on them? To be honest, I can't say I have, but other people may have. Well, the sticker details the country of the fruit's origin and which company produces it. But those stickers also have seemingly random numbers on them, which once you know what they mean, they're actually pretty useful. If the sticker has a four digit number and the first number is a four, then the fruit at some point in its lifespan has been sprayed with pesticides. If there are five digits and the first digit is an eight, then the fruit has been genetically modified. If the fruit again has five digits and starts with a nine, the fruit was grown organically. Aeroplanes have many safety features, and most are common knowledge. Seat belts and life vests, for example, but there are some hidden ones that are just as important. Take, for example, those little yellow hooks on an aeroplane's wings. Have you ever wondered what they're for? Well, they're very important, especially as an aircraft is made to be as aerodynamic as possible. So for these little hooks to be placed there and slightly affect the aerodynamics, they have to be absolutely necessary. Those hooks feature two small holes and sit about a third of the way down the length of the wing, and they're used in the case of an emergency landing. One hole is to tether a rope to the door, and the other to an inflatable chute to give passengers something to hold on while evacuating. The rope fastened to the door would be in case of landing on water. Passengers would need something to hold on as the plane's wings would become slippery and wet, and people could fall off into the water such as the case of US Airways Flight 1549 that crash landed into the Hudson River on January 15, 2009. Passengers were able to use the rope tethered to these hooks to get onto the wings while they waited to be rescued. You've probably noticed those little lines printed vertically on lined paper in notebooks. Nowadays, that's simply used as a spacing and writing guide, but originally those lines were introduced to serve a different and much more interesting purpose. In olden days, those lines made margins around the paper to protect the written words on a page, because back then they had a problem with mice and rats in old buildings and libraries and such. Rodents would sneak in and gnaw through books and letters and pretty much anything they came across, and important writings were lost. So the margins made by the vertical lines allowed for a reasonable chew space and provided a period of time for the book or the writings to be saved. A headrest on the seat of a car is an important safety feature. Our necks are pretty fragile, and if we were to be involved in a crash and those headrests weren't there, then our heads would just whip back on impact and cause serious damage. And those headrests also help to keep our necks relatively free from aches by being able to rest our head against them and stop them being wobbled about on long journeys and being forced into awkward resting positions. But there's another feature for car headrests that not many people know about, but it's very important and could save a lot of lives if it were common knowledge. 
Say for instance, if a car was to become submerged or got into an accident or any situation where the doors were unable to open leaving the passengers struggling to exit the vehicle and the only way out would be to go through the windows. Well headrests are designed to be pulled out for use in that situation and they have two steel prongs protruding from them. Those prongs are intended to be used to smash the windows of a vehicle in case of emergency allowing passengers to escape. There's nothing better than relaxing in a nice foamy bubbly bath after a long day. But why do these bath products make so much foam? Of course, foam is fun and it helps to clean the body. But those bubbles have another purpose. They're not just a byproduct of the soap or detergent solely intended for hygiene purposes. Bubble bath is intentionally designed to produce a lot of foamy bubbles as to provide an insulating layer on the top of the bath's water to help keep the water warmer for longer thus helping us spend more time chilling in the bath without the water getting too cold. This one may be common knowledge to you, but if it isn't, then I'd say it's pretty interesting. Now if you look along the sides of most roads or motorways or freeways, you may see these little bumpy things called rumble strips. If you drive over them, you'll know about it, as your vehicle and you will be wildly shaken and thrown about. And the reason for this is pretty simple. The idea is that the rumble strips will wake sleeping drivers and hopefully give them enough time to steer themselves to safety after they've nodded off and veered across the road onto these strips and possibly save their lives. I've always used those nylon brushes that run along the sides of escalators to clean my shoes but I've always known that's not what they're supposed to be used for. So what are they used for? The real use of those little bristles along the skirts of escalators is to make passengers aware that they're too close to the edge. When the brushes touch the passenger, it makes them instinctively move to a safer distance and therefore protect them from their laces or their loose clothing from getting caught up in the moving parts. 